since independence, there has been protests in, around parliament. Never have protesters invaded and gotten inside parliament. Senior officers have told me in confidence they did not have an advanced intelligence brief about the intensity of the protests so that they prepare in advance. The National Intelligence Service slept on the job. And the problem is simple. The Director General of the National Intelligence Service, Nurdin Haji, was a junior officer in the National Intelligence Service before he was appointed as DPP. When he was appointed to the office of the Director General, because of inferiority complex, he chased away all the people who were senior to him when he was in the service. They are for crippling the capacity of that service and making it dysfunctional. Three directors were chased away and reassigned to desk jobs in ministries across government. Thirteen assistant directors, men and women with proven track record of intelligence collection and analysis, were removed from the National Intelligence Service, leaving a shell under a clueless director general who has no capacity to run the organization. And that is why the security sector was caught off guard by the intensity, the anger of the Kenyan people, the agitation of the Kenyan people, the lessons of the Kenyan people. Had Nuddin Haji done his job, we will not be where we are today. He has no capacity. He is out of the country most of the time on business trips. The country is on his own. My boss president, William Mutua, is exposed that he has to back down and admit that he has hurt the people of Kenya. Yet this matter has been in public domain for the last two months.